legislative matters for April 11th, 2016. And we've got our roll call. Councilor Adams? Here. Councilor Murphy? Here. Councilor O'Donnell? Here. Councilor Sheriff? Here. We'll have to do without public comment since we have no public to comment. So the next thing would be the approval of the minutes of March 14th. Motion? Approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so things referred to us. Um, the first thing is 16048 ordinance to provide limited time parking on King Street. It's for the vision of section 312 104, and that's still with transportation and parking, isn't it? Or is that no, actually, all done? It actually left transportation parking Excellent. in like November. So it's Ooh, it's, that's why I forgot it. It's been kicking around for a while. Yeah. You want to tell us yeah, about that? Yeah, it's just um, it establishes a 15 minute space right in front of um, where Bank of America used to be and where Goggins Real Estate is now. Mm -hmm. um, they closed uh, one of the entrances. Yeah, closed. there's just one lone space in there. Yeah, there? and so, I mean, you know, it came at the request of, of Mr. Goggins originally, but um, I don't know, I never met a 15 minute space I didn't like. I think they're good for downtown. They create turnover, and I don't think we have one on King Street, so. No, there's a bunch of businesses and there's a law office, sure. an insurance company, there's a lot of things that people may need to run into for sign something or pick something up or yeah, something else. So it made sense to the Transportation Park Commission, and so we recommended it. All righty, any discussion on this one? No? I move a positive recommendation. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And then, um, does everybody have the revisions on 16034, the, the uh, water one? Yeah. yeah, if I may. Yeah, and I, you talked to the solicitor yeah. even as recently as today about yeah, this. Yeah, no, I, I apologize. I'm sending out this amendment the day of. Um, it's this one here. Um, but it, it basically, I'm sorry? Yeah, we can Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't change anything really, it just kind of clarifies um, it, you know, it, it clarifies that um, this applies to, well, a, as it says, it says the public water resources and infrastructure of the city of Northampton, including systems and facilities related to supply, storage, treatment, and distribution of water, shall be owned or leased by the city of Northampton and controlled by the city of Northampton. Such resources and infrastructure shall not be sold, leased, or transferred into private ownership or control. So I wanted to be clear that this affects land that we may not own, but we control by leasing it. And I also want to make clear that we're talking about control of it, not just ownership in, in both senses. So mm -hmm. otherwise, does the same thing. I think actually everyone in this committee is familiar with it because you've seen it in other committees. But it would basically make it unlawful to transfer our water infrastructure into private ownership or control in the future. Mm -hmm. Discussion, yes. Could, could you give an example, if you know one, of land that we don't? own but control that would be subject to this ordinance to to second yeah. understand yeah i can't give you an example actually originally i didn't have it in there and then the solicitor suggested it because he said he wouldn't want it to, to bind our to tie our hands should it come to that um should we need to do that for whatever reason tie the city's hands yeah look, if we pass this ordinance and it said um every single part of our water infrastructure or land on which water infrastructure was placed had to be owned by the city and then one day we came and we needed to i don't know like lease a pumping station or lease land lease, put something yeah on. and we needed to do that it would this ordinance would create a problem for us so we put it in lease you know for so, that reason so somebody may not want to sell us a piece of land yeah to put some infrastructure on but they may say i'll give you 99 year lease yeah they give us like a 100 year lease or and, and so. we'd have to say no so just to I mean, allow for that. does seem the rare occasion, but why not cover ourselves? Just trying to do that. And then equally with these changes, I wanted to make sure that we didn't transfer the operation or control of our water infrastructure to a private company, even if we technically still owned it. So those are the purposes. My question is that sometimes we lease public systems or facilities to private entities, like Amoresco for the landfill, like um, the ESCO, the energy services company, which we hired to um, find energy savings throughout all the public buildings, and, and they actually got paid throughout those savings. So I understand it's water, and, and it's you know maybe more sensitive or more important than 
maybe than the landfill or, or, or energy services. But we do sometimes lease certain systems or, or uh, facilities to private companies and because sometimes they can do things more efficiently or better than we can or, or we don't have the resources because, for example, you know, say our DPW can't do something. Like, mm -hmm. it's a different type of example, but, you know, you yeah. plow all the streets in the winter time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, if, if they, if, if, um, if there is a company who can do something maybe better than the city or more efficiently. So like, the thought would be, let's say we hired a private company to operate the filtration plant. They don't own it. They simply supply the operators for it, and, and we sign a contract with them to run it for us. I don't think this would preclude that, since we still own a control. But we could, but we could hire a private firm. To, but what if there was well, a? Oh, no, please. I mean, what what if there was? And I, I don't have an example because I'm just trying to, because I don't I don't have one. I'm just thinking. Um, what if there was some some aspect of the public water system that would be a money saving to the system to the city that that would have to go to a private company for some period of time in order for them to to handle it. I mean, I know where the concern comes from, obviously, but I don't know if we want to tie our hands to, in that way. We'll just require them to come back to us and say, "Here's the plan." Well, they're already. I mean, any lease would require them to, to yeah. cancel through the anyhow, so that's why I'm not sure. You know, I mean, so if that's the case, mm -hmm. why would it be necessary? I mean, if, I mean. Accounts. I mean, you'd have to you'd have to trust future councils to you know hire a responsible company. Mm -hmm. But the ordinance would would uh, would present a, a significant obstacle if there was an opportunity that, that the city had to hire a company who who could maybe do something more efficiently, save taxpayer money, but not jeopardize mm -hmm. the water system, which obviously is the is the purpose of this. Yeah. No, I, I take that point, and perhaps there's a distinction between. Services. I mean, you know, I, I don't know that we have many people who go out and actually pave entire roads that are just city staff. We always contract that out to construction companies. Um, so that's not the kind of thing. And if there were a company that came in and said, we are going to do an assessment on your, you know, granulated carbon system um, in, in within the, the larger system, or we're going to make an improvement or some kind, um, that would be different than transferring ownership or control. Um, I just want to make sure that the water system is uh, remains administered and controlled by the city. I wouldn't want to transfer. Um, so actually, in Council Murphy's example, I, I wouldn't want to permit a company to come in and, and run um, the water system. Mm -hmm. I would want to have this ordinance prevent that. Well, I, I don't think it. I don't think this would prevent the city from hiring a firm to run the filtration plant, let's say. We still own it, we still control it. We simply sign a contract with the firm to provide the operators for it because we feel they can do it more efficiently than we can. Am I reading this wrong? I'm reading as we can't leave, we can't, I'm reading as we can't do that. I mean, we, that, that would be a lease, where a lease, lease actually does transfer property for a period of time. Right, we would else. transfer the, the, the ownership of the, of the thing, but we still could, hire a company to administer it, even though we still own it and control it. We could sign a contract to say, you know, we're having a hard time finding water filtration plant operators that want to do this. So we hire a company to, in fact, do that for us, but oh, we still right. own and control it. Short of a lease. Right, we wouldn't, we're not leasing the facility, we're just getting a, like a management contract to say you will provide the operators for this plant and supervise this plant, but it's still our plan and we still control it. it. Okay, I see. Yeah. Not, not, not say, We'll say the plant, and you're going to give us filtered water for 25 minutes. Right, okay, okay. Yeah. And just okay. same thing like we replace water lines, but we hire contractors to do that. We don't do them all ourselves. So yeah, okay. Wouldn't prevent that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, the intent was as long as the city remain, can, uh, retains control of it. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know how far to the line mm -hmm. you can go with that. I would, you know, my, my intent would be. Um, to prevent, you know, just handing over large parts of the infrastructure, uh, even on a contract basis. But I guess it'd be how you would read the language. So. Well, to operate. But I mean, owned or leased, conceivably, um, we could sell the water distribution system to somebody and lease it back and still control it, and they'd have to maintain it. This doesn't this prevent say, that because we either own it or lease it. We could sell the pipes to somebody and just lease them back and say, "You deal with them." Well, you know, 
here's the specs of the here's the specs of what we want, and you have to maintain them at that level, and you want them, we'll be so bad. Well, the second sentence is 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 I, I tried to be clear. The, sen the second sentence that these resources shall not be sold into private ownership mm -hmm. or control. So no, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. So we can lose what we can sell. Which makes sense because I don't know who'd want to buy our moldy old water pipes anyway. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the reality. Some of them could be in a Smithsonian. The, the reality is, but this is an ordinance. I mean, and like I've said in other committees, I, yeah, I, I would support putting this in the charter as other cities. Well, one other city, Massachusetts, has done. But the reality is, this is an ordinance for the time being, and it could always be repealed. Um, mm -hmm. but for a no, compelling reason. Uh, you know, but. Um, Any other comment on? No? So, do you want to move it as amended? Yeah, unless you want me to just offer the amendment separately. Whatever you want. I think you can, I mean, we st we're still okay. so by here, so we'll move it amendment. as amended. Okay. okay. So, so this version. Okay. Second. Oh, I think I made it. Okay, one second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye, you folks. All right. And then the last thing that we, I don't think we're acting on, because this is the one that's still going to transportation, right? Yeah, sorry, that's this not out yet. Yeah. 16025 relative to parking near the police station. Do you want to explain this one? So, I mean, we can't act sure. on it yet, but. Yeah, I mean, it came at the request of the chief of police. Um, apparently, this space right next to the driveway they find it to be obstructive for large vehicles trying to get in there. Um, so they ask to eliminate the space. It has not been considered yet in the Transportation Park Commission. So it will come back. Sure. Is that in the front or the Gothic or the, the Gothic or Center Street entrance? Center, Center Street. Yeah. So yeah. if you're looking at the driver to the left. The first one on the left. Yeah, yeah. That, is that a regular metered spot? No, it's 15. 15. Yep. 15. So this, the one that I don't think we have a copy of it here, but it proposes actually making the next next one over 15 minutes. I, actually, I don't even know how I feel about it because, I mean, it seems like there's plenty of room to me, <laughs> but I'm bringing it forward on the request of the chief. Didn't we already lose a spot in that area, either when the police station was built or there was sort of a change? There I, used to I, be, in front of the church, there was one that's no longer there. Yeah, I don't know, because okay. there's still a curb cut that goes down for Eric's building. And there's still a curb cut for them, and there, there was only two curb cuts there before. So it may be the same. I'm a little concerned about continuing to lose spots. Maybe the chief, can we request the chief come to make a case next time? I could read the transportation and parking minutes too to try well, to and she's, it. Okay. Well, all right, but she, well, you can come. So I can come. To the next okay, I'll try. Right. Well, why don't yeah, we? Because I understand. Because she, she, does she usually come to those, or does she have somebody come to those? She does, but actually, I know that she won't be at the next one. Is she? Is she? A, a, a she's a member. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be the place. I mean, that'd be the most convenient place for her to give comment because she comes to that anyway. So she's, but not this time. Well, maybe she, her surrogate could, phone up on why they really need that space. She's at the, um, will be there. Yeah. Next week. Okay. Um, I think it's a legitimate concern, obviously. Yeah, yeah how, I mean, how badly do they 15 minute spots are good, and, you know, we're given one on King Street that wasn't able to which is good, but it's like, you know, net loss of parking when, you know, something like yeah, yeah. Well, it would be good so, to know why they feel so strongly about it, and I'll certainly make a point to go by there and okay. repeat myself, because uh, I don't recall it, I don't recall it ever being an issue, so. Yeah. All right. Um, and I think outside of... Any new business we didn't anticipate? Do you have, anyone have any new business we didn't anticipate? So I think we're set. So motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Thank you all.